what you want to speak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't gonna get it. Because that's fucked yeah. up how they did you. Ain't nothing like a pair of boobies. Yeah, man. Yeah, Listen, ear, man. Ear, ear parts could never. <laughs> ear parts could fucking never. Listen, I got my Martin director here with me, man. The lovely, the wonderful, the intelligent key. Hey, y'all. Give her a uh, 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 applause. You feel me? So we, I mean, we jumped me right into it, man. Y'all saw how I showed y'all my explore page, man. And I, I always used to be like, damn, why I be looking at ass so much? Mm. But I remember when I started looking at ass, probably like, probably like middle school. When I got to middle school, that's when I saw it. The girls used to wear the little skorts. You know what the skort oh, is? Oh, yeah, I hated them. The half shorts yeah, and half Yeah, with the shorts on the back, but I hated them. But these girls... I'm about to shout them out too. <laughs> <laughs> Shamaya, Shamaya Newkirk. Who else? Jazz, Jasmine Taylor. Oh my God. They used to have their, like, them squats wasn't no little loose bag squats. They used to be walking, pulling the, yeah, we got to keep pulling it down. Like, damn, ass looking fat in them little squats. But that's when I started looking at ass. But you had told me why. Or where that comes from, and I want yes. you to share that. With yeah, so I'm gonna share it with everybody. I'm here on the uh, Wolf of Charles Street show, the one and only, recording live from the secret location. You feel me? We're so in the trenches, live. Definitely in the trenches. Um, so with a gun, with a gun, gun in the trenches. Not the gun. <laughs> Y'all might hear, y'all might really hear some shit in the back. Put the guns, put the guns in the chat. Put the water gun in the chat. So. Um, what we was talking about that one day we was just chatting about like how men feel women feel in certain situations so basically what I was talking about is like aesthetically when it comes down to men and women men are attracted to women based on something called their waist to hip ratio so basically you know just like anything else in life it's just a measurement of their size of their waist to the size of a woman's actual hips and the reason is for childbearing they more, you know, they appear to be more fertile or more, you know, for childbearing. So it's come into popular culture as what we have as the BBL culture. As you saw on my boy explore page, period. <laughs> Yo, so that's that. So I know everybody. Listen, I don't. Sometimes I don't care. Is she big? She tall? She short? She ugly? I still gonna look at her ass and see what type of ass she got. It's a shame, but I mean, <laughs> to each his own. That's your preference. And it's men out there that have different preferences. Some men are like they like different parts of the body. I was watching a live last night on Just Say No to Skull. Shout out to Skull. I just say no to Skull. And I was watching his live, and he was like, "Put a one in the chat if you got big boobs. Put a two in the chat if you got ass. Put a three if you got both." But the ladies in the chat putting a four. They, what's four? The four. He 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 defined the four as mm -hmm. if you got good head, you get good head. Oh. If you're a four, so they just made the four. I, I yeah. don't know where that came uh. from, but basically, when we come down to the waist to hip ratio, basically it's just a measurement of women's bodies. And so when you see people going in and they're interested in getting things like BBLs, the reason that one of the reasons, of course, it looks aesthetically pleasing. It actually looks very good on a lot of people. Nothing against BBLs if that's something a person chooses to do. That's cool. But one of the things you see is when our body is sculpted, their waist is really, really small in comparison to the hip size. Like you see on models like the beautiful Bernice Burgos, people like that. That's Granny, how I did. Grand, grand, Don't grandma. call her that. She fired. Grand, she had grandma. She had she had bad grandma. Yeah, she look good though, but she don't like nobody grandma, but she look young to me. All right, she's still messing with the, the little young niggas. Yeah, she definitely beautiful. She out there. Yeah. She remember that time they said she was messing with T.I.? Allegedly. With, with Dirk, with, with everybody. She ain't messed with Dirk. Dirk ain't never cheated yeah. on India. That's the So, all right. <laughs> it is. You know, I love Dirk and India. So, basically, um, like, that's what you see when people get the BBL. Look at it. It actually looks good on a lot of people. I'm not against it, but so, I know it's so, dangerous. So, is would you say that BBL is kind of like a form of uh, advertising then? If... I would, especially for plastic surgeons. You go on any plastic surgeon page on Instagram, you're going to see pictures of before and afters of people's BBL. So I would say it's a form of advertising, but do you, do you mean it in the sense of I'm advertising talking, other things? I'm talking about as females. Like, because now you know why we look at ass is because of that, you feel mm -hmm. me, of, of a 
a reproduction. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean like all right, she. You know what I mean? She looks like she can have kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? From a nature standpoint. So yeah. now, subconsciously, that's why we look in the ass. So is the female subconsciously trying to make her ass appealing so she could get a suitor? Yeah, I mean, I would say, I would say use what you got anyway, even if you ain't got no butt. I used to have a real flat pancake butt. That's cool. All I'm saying is like, <laughs> I'm serious. All I'm like, saying though, the, the, the whole, because. This craze go back, you know, go back to the the loot days and the uh, and the uh, yeah and the baby got back yeah. days. You feel me? So, but butts were smaller then. But yeah, but I feel like the BBL wasn't. It was the the craze wasn't like that like that. You feel me? Like now it's like it's like that. Like everybody want to get a BBL. Mm-hmm. I know. You feel me? I know. Plenty of women that I mean took that trip down there and almost died down there type shit. You feel? Yeah, that's not good. And you don't want to be taking them trips. You want to get if you're gonna go get a BBL. This not medical advice. This just my personal opinion. Get it in the United States where people is board certified. Do not be going to other countries. So the whole thing is you're risking your life to look good for a nigga, right? I mean, for yourself, too. It's people that get it done for themselves. They feel like like it's people that pay kids, things like that. They feel like they're going to look better after they get it. Look better it. for who, though? Sometimes it's for them. Sometimes it's for men. Or, you know, respectively, what you're attracted to. And I just go back to, like, what you said, the reason why we even enter as. Because subconsciously, like I, like I said, I never knew that until you said that. You mm-hmm. feel me? So subconsciously. I'm just, you feel me? I'm looking at somebody that could probably, you know, bear my, my kids. Beat so, your baby mother. So subconsciously, she, a girl will get that ass and them, them mm-hmm. hips or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Because subconsciously, she wants to be the mother. Your baby your mother. She, she wants, did. She, she did wants to be the mother. So, <laughs> so we just, we, I just want to. I just look at the stuff that's going on. And I just try to get all the way to the root, to the basics of what's going on. Right. You feel me? So basically, you got these doctors, you got the industry, you got everybody capitalizing just off of a of a feeling that mm-hmm. we got. You feel me? So mm-hmm. once again, I feel like we don't. A lot of people don't really control their feelings. I, I feel like mm, a lot of people's deep. feelings are controlled by a lot of other things. Yeah, people are easily influenced. Like, if you look at that explore page, you could have been <laughs> having something you need to do, and then you get caught in the ass scrolling. So, I at the end of the day... <laughs> listen, one time I was looking, I said, I'm about to jump on here. I got to find this nigga number in my uh, DM, a photographer I wanted to use. So, mm-hmm. I said, I'm about to go jump on Instagram. I jumped on that and by the time I, I man, I done forgot about the number. Yeah, I done, it happens. I, <laughs> but I it's okay. I spending a half an hour looking at that ass. I'm like, nah, this is crazy, man. I'm about to get the, I'm about to get rid of the grab. I got to get somebody to uh, manage my IGs. I got a couple IGs. I'm looking for a social media manager, man. Y'all tapping, man. Comment down. Comment down below, man. Because I can't be on the phone like that. I got too much stuff to be doing. Yeah, comment, send your email, put your email down below. Oh, half an hour. Went by just like that. Yeah. Looking at ass. Yeah, that's how it be. <laughs> but it's okay. It's nothing wrong with a man, you know, spending time doing that if that's something he like to do. And all y'all niggas, all y'all niggas, every time I go to them pictures, y'all be right there. I see a, my mutual friend like, dang. Y'all looking at all the same asses I'm looking at. And, and I ain't gonna lie, I do be looking like some of these females be recycled, man. Like, What you mean? Oh, everybody's starting to look alike. It's because they be going to the same surgeons. They look alike. They doing the same poses. Mm-hmm. It's just like everything is just carbon copy and it's getting kind of weird to me. Yeah, it is kind of weird. It's kind of, kind of, kind of weird. A lot of girls are looking just alike. Like, yeah. everybody looking alike. But as far, I mean, as far as the BBL trend, I kind of feel like it's on its way out. I think natural bodies are coming back. Well, you know, tax season is over now. <laughs> Everything going back natural right now. You think so? I, yeah, I think what, everybody was glammed up. What, tax season? They be glammed up 24 7. You know, t- tell the truth. That's, they cause, was. Cause they it, was. It's just females and niggas too. Niggas, they was. niggas do, but you know, mainly it be the females because you know, mm-hmm. 
females are usually the ones that got the jobs. You know what? <laughs> they can follow Guys have shit. jobs too. That's messed up. Guys niggas, have jobs. Niggas, niggas be having a job, but they don't be enough to file at the end of the year type shit. Oh, oh, I'm just keeping it real. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm just speaking from my, my environment. You feel yeah, me? I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, I feel you. Usually around tax season, the girls is balling out. The niggas, the niggas is trying to flip their tax. But it could be too because the girls have the kids they can carry. Exactly. The so girls got five kids they could, uh, you feel me? If five kids they could bargain and throw around and shit, you feel me? But the guys had a choice to take care of them kids all year too. And they could have filed with them, but they took care of them all year. Uh, niggas don't have no job. <laughs> niggas can't. There's no need for the niggas to file the kids. He got no job. Yeah, true. She true. get more money with the job yeah. and the kids, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, you crazy. Niggas want to just flip the check and shit. Niggas, stop trying to flip the check. Like yeah, stop. stop. Ladies, stop letting stop. boys. I'm keeping it real. Stop letting them tell you they're going to flip your income stop taxes. It. They not coming back. Because you, know you know what's happening after that? It's a lot of, a lot of spousal abuse. Listen, no. I've been seeing fights over over these income tax checks. I've not seen it all. Like Y'all got to stop putting so much into this little bit of money and just I mean if you gonna get your get your taxes put it into something that's mm-hmm. gonna make you some more money. You know yeah, I mean? that's smart. That's smart advice and yeah, investment. Man. Yeah. I definitely agree. But yeah, I don't want no I don't wanna see no type of stuff like that. But yeah, but. tax season is over and all the regular shit coming back out. Yeah. Yeah man. Yeah. Whoever Every- a couple botch BBLs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is going to be a couple batch ones out there. It's a couple out there now. It's a few definitely out there now. Um, no shade, no tea, but it is a few. Um, but it's some nice looking ones. I ain't going to lie. Some people really look good with theirs. But I'll I be like, all right, it look nice, but I'm more into like, how, do, how is it going to fit? Do, is it, you ever touched the BBL? I haven't. I'm not into girls. You don't gotta be in the. I know, but I don't even do the whole. You know how girls go out yeah, there and dance and they feel. Oh, I don't feel the girls when I. You know how girls go. Oh, I like your boobs. Let me feel your boobs. I don't. Y'all, I ain't into it at y'all don't do that in that. I'm zero percent into girls. You don't gotta be in the girls. I know. I, I ain't just feeling be, on no y'all girls because I'm not in, like that. I feel you. Y'all girl. little drunk nights. Y'all be grinding on each other I don't dancing. Do it. I, so okay. So whole yes, time. No, like, listen. No, listen. Whole time. No, y'all don't talk about me. So little drunk nights. I was having a party like at my this. house one time. Kiss and, tongue kissing each other. No, and a girl was like baking it up on me, and I totally baked away from her. And she was like, mm. "Oh my god, that's how you gonna act?" I was like, "I don't. I'm not in the girls. Like that's how much I'm not into it." Oh wow. But you know that's just me. Okay. But I will say this i don't know how they feel but people say it's just your fat that was in other parts of your body so i'm assuming fat is soft because it's fat it's soft when it's mm-hmm. everywhere else so i'm assuming bbls is soft man well i don't know you ain't I, never th- you ain't never t- touched a girl that had a bbl no 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 you like you into the natural body no the crazy thing is even though i look at ass a lot I'm not really a ass guy. Like I'm really a boob guy. Who would have thunk it? Yeah, but I just like the you know I like the tricks and the dance. I like the way ass look. I like the yeah. aesthetic. I mean it's fun and all that and all that. But I don't know. I ain't really a ass guy like that. I'm more Iron Man. Mean, That's interesting. You know what's funny about you saying you're a boob guy? I once had a relationship, yo, with a whole guy that was a boob guy. Clearly, I ain't got no boobs to be dealing with no dude that's a boob guy. Like, like, but see, that's a but, but, like, but, sir. But when you're a boob guy, it's really, it ain't really about, it's really different boobs. You just love boobs, period. Oh, okay. It could be small, it could be big, it could be know. lopsided. Whatever. They, I don't think that's the kind you know. he was into. I think he was into the big ones. I don't think. He I mean, was I like into I like big ones too, but if I'm not just like boo her. Yeah, know. I think he was into the big ones, and the relationship just wasn't going to work because of it. Like, uh, sir, it's not going to work. I'm not your type. You feel me? He wasn't even cute or nothing. He was doing all that. How you even have a preference? You not even cute. So you don't you you mess with ugly guys? No, I just was trying to like him for you. Know how a guy be nice? Yo, a guy be nice. So you'll go ahead and give him a little chance. Don't do that just because he nice. If he like lame or ugly, I ain't never talked to a lame, but he was like not. But cute. you talked to ugly guys. Yeah, because some ugly guys cool treat you ugly good. Guys. Some of them treat you good. So you deal with a, a guy look doesn't necessarily yeah, trump I the mm-hmm. way he treats you. Mm-hmm. I prefer the treatment over the looks. Wow. So that, that, that brings up a question I do want to ask you. Do you feel like most women date 
a more of a financial thing than instead of just really like the so called love everybody looking for. Because I feel like something you said earlier when we was talking off camera and shit, but yeah, man, a lot of girls mess with older guys because they more stable and they got that bridge. You feel mm-hmm. I me? Mean? They got that pension. <laughs> not the pension. Not they was a state worker for forty years. I'm just cashed out that four hundred one. Hell yeah, I'll me. take them four hundred one k coins any day. So I feel like most girls do date for financial reasons. And I'm gonna say that they just cheat with the niggas they want to fuck with. I'm gonna say this. It's some truth <laughs> to that because. Like a woman, a real woman want to have a man that's it's a protector that. and a some. provider. You don't want no man that can't provide for you. Like, now I'm not saying that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We in the trenches. I don't know if y'all hear the uh, the pack and shit. Hold on, let's get the pack a chance to. I don't know if y'all heard that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Told tr- y'all we deep in the trenches with it. <laughs> Stir bikes all fucking dead night. Ain't no telling what you trenches. might hear. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hell yeah. So, so back, back to uh, women dating. Based on your credit score, go ahead. You know what? Not based on the credit score, but no, for financial reasons, I think some women do date men because of financial reasons. Give it a percentage. Would you say oh, man, 80 percent of women in the whole world or just the U.S.? Uh, mainly the U.S. because the whole world a lot is, is different. Yeah. C- culturally, like, like say if you in Africa, like everybody, I'm not gonna say it. certain part. All right, let's say because. Don't say, get us cares yeah, to speak. I want to say the whole Africa poor because Africa. No, a, it's not. It's Africa very is, rich. Africa is a very rich continent. Even though we was taught different in school, mm-hmm. Africa is one of the richest continents in the world, and it's, it's a continent, so it's full of countries. So one country might be doing a lot better than another country. It all depends on what's going on there. So, but. A lot of those, I feel like, depending on, I mean, people marry, some people is is is, is married together by their family. They still do that. Where the family, yeah. put, you feel me? So it's different. But here, nah, yeah, All right. you got I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the whole thing. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on the global approach. So first, in the U.S., if I was to give it a percentage of women that seek out relationships because for financial reasons oh my gosh the whole u.s 99 i didn't say 99 i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna say 60 60 i'm gonna say 60 i'm gonna tell you why because it's a lot of women that that hold their man down like look at the michelle obama's of the world before barack obama became president michelle obama was out there working she was a lawyer she was basically showing him different things and they was like working together doing different things building her life up so it was a point in time where she held him down where he might not have made a certain amount but she's seen his potential so you had women that do things like that so that's the 40 percent that i'm considering Okay, okay. So, um... Because all women aren't out for just the money. Some women, like, will like, love a man for who he is because she knows where who he's going to be in the future. Look how it turned out for Michelle. It clearly worked out. So, I'm not saying you're supposed to uh, hold a man down while he do nine mixtapes. How many... Mo- <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, how many how many Obamas is in the hood? Like, that's it's, what I'm saying. It's, it's so, some. So, that's what I'm saying. So, we talking about, first of all, the ratio... From uh, women to men is ridiculous. So then now you gotta chop that down even more to just the batch of good men, mm-hmm. the the the, the Baracks. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like girls is not really. You feel me? The lottery is like y'all playing lottery for real, for real. And so I understand. You feel me? Like ever since I was even in high school, and I used to be watching the older niggas coming picking up the girls. I'm like, man, you feel me? I, he got a car. He got this and that. You feel me? I understood that f- from you know what I mean. But the fact that a, mo- a lot of y'all don't be trying to admit it, I feel like, man, man, like I feel like we just need to be more transparent. Now, for me, are you asking for myself? I'm not dating no man that don't have no money. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I already know you in that yeah, 60%. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> that, that's the that's the. All right, that's, yeah, that's yeah, fair. All right. All right, Let's you know, put that but, on the table. But see, you have, <laughs> but I feel like the majority wouldn't admit it and shit. You feel me? Like it's it's like everything is I mean, like mm-hmm. it's secret. They wanna be creeping around and this, that, and the third. Like it I, has to do with a couple things, factors, in my opinion, as a woman. I'ma say this, okay, because you brought up the older men. 
older men that can sometimes provide more stability because they've been they older they've been alive longer they got of course more years of work experience they got a pension possibly 401k it's longer years because so they're you older. think this is a sub this is another subconscious thing that what? females do that women that but it's both ways because you'll have men men traditionally will date women that's younger than them so that's i think it's both ways yeah i think it is it is some subconscious in all of our minds because of course men date women because you because, with the older guys yeah well that's the way it's gonna go down <laughs> now so, the older guys some of them treat you it's not like good. it's not like young niggas is trying to have kids with older women that's not true either that the, the all right let's talk percentage of okay that, okay right, let's it, give it a percent so yes 90 percent of niggas is not trying to have yeah, tr- kids. true yeah, that's another 90. subconscious thing that's we thing. know that older women you know their bearing age you know as they get older you know that's true amen it is like a thing with biological niggas things. we could have kids till yeah. we die so that's why you feel me yeah, man, we, that makes sense by nature. So these things are natural. When you talk about the attraction, when you talk about how men and women are attracting each other by the age thing, it's to keep, I guess, it's to keep us alive. If you think about it. Yeah. As so, a but, but, y'all got, as a but now race. being a wolf of Charles Street, mm-hmm. now as a culture, we got to understand and see how corporate America capitalizes just off of our natural Thing, you feel me? Yeah, if you think about it, that is deep because it's like they know you want to look a certain look. They know that you want to have things a certain exactly. way. Because plastic surgery, if you think about it, wasn't even that popular years ago. Mm-hmm. But now women all over the world is getting it done. Even yeah. average, regular, everyday women exactly. are getting it done. So, but I think it's good for women to feel good about themselves. If it's gonna, if you're doing it for the purpose of you feeling good about you, I think that's good. And I feel like it's a small percentage that's doing it for just them. And then once again, I feel like. Is a hundred percent doing it because of who they want to attract. That's true too. That, that could be true, yeah. Because if I'm you want being, a certain kind of man, yeah. Once we get, once again, we get to the root. The root is that this is just nature. It is, <laughs> but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this though. I'm gonna keep it real. When I had a pancake butt, I got just as many dudes as I get now. Like it's not. It was no different. I got. See what I'm saying? Because remember I told you, even though I look at mm -hmm. ass, I'm not really a butt guy. But the corporate America know that they could get me to stay on my phone. Mm Yeah, you know I man, and look and run through ads, and you feel mm-hmm. me? This is this is once again corporate America mm-hmm. using nature mm-hmm. against us. You feel me? <laughs> But we got a choice to pick up that photo dot too. And that's what I'm saying. Perfect way to bring it down. Life is about choices. Everything is a choice. You feel me? Don't ever feel like you back in the corner to do something. Just really stop and think why you in that corner. And then you figure that out and make a choice and get up out of that. Mm-hmm. But trust and believe everything you do in this world is a choice. Just make the right choices, and hopefully y'all listen. Back to what you were saying about right the choices. women that like men about money and this and that. I would say if we was to talk about that from a global perspective of women that are looking for men providers, I would say over the world it's gonna be ninety percent because some places in the world, you know, you look at they got places where it's royalty. Of course, a woman gonna want the king or the prince, you know. And then you have places where it's really hard economic conditions. So, of course, you don't need a man to help you there. So, I just feel like, yeah, around the world, that's a standard. Um, they even have, in some countries, dowries that they pay. Mm-hmm. Where when you get married, they pay to your family so they can marry you. That still is in existence to today. So, it's never been a time that women's value was in question or getting together with a woman. I just feel like people needs to, I mean, women, some women need to understand that about themselves, that they do have a very high value. Yeah, so, yeah, that's that's kind of, you know, like a kind of a catch-22, ain't it? Like, it is, because if you think about back to the BBL conversation, like, 
if people are getting it because they think it's gonna make their self esteem better, it's not. You gotta already feel good about yourself. So right. you get a BBL, you like I was already that girl. Now I'm, I'm that bitch. Like I was already, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you can't get it and think all of a sudden you are gonna feel good about yourself because then you are gonna see more things in the mirror that you feel like is wrong with you. So that's why I think you gotta get things done for the right reasons, um, and you gotta know yourself. You feel me? Do you gotta maintain the BBO? Yeah, I think you gotta go back at the time. I don't think it lasts forever. So you gotta get surgery forever then. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna say this. Can you imagine getting a BBO and only having money for that one go around and then you can't go back and get it fixed and your shit start looking crazy after years? That's the same thing with them saggy, uh, them sag bag titties. Mm, the girls that don't maintain the uh, breast implants, them joints start sagging. Yeah, you gotta get like stuff Sa- done to it. Get the saddle bags. You gotta. Get your little breast lift. Like you got mm-hmm. it's you basically gotta get surgery forever. Wow. To maintain it. To maintain whatever yeah. you get done. That's crazy though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's you sad. see them Hollywood actresses and stuff that be with the Botox, even when they older, they mm-hmm. stay they they faithfully go to them doctors and you know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. you gotta maintain that shit. Yeah, that's a lot. Ain't nobody got time or so, money for that. So <laughs> So like before y'all jump into that, just think ladies before y'all do that, like it's a it's really gonna be a long term investment. So if you can't really afford the long term mm-hmm. the maintenance. Just do some squats, babes. <laughs> yeah, some other ways too. Like you got the pediment, you feel me? Let a nigga put his thumb in your go ahead. All right, future junior over there. <laughs> Good grief. It's Pluto. definitely it's definitely giving uh to the streets. It's definitely giving future. But yeah, you could do. They got the pediment, you feel me? Make you get a little thick real fast. Yeah, man, we got the pediment on deck, ladies. <laughs> Yo, they be selling that shit. People, it be working on people. Yeah, listen. People be saying anything. I, have, I used to mess with a little chick. She was super slimmy, super skinny. You feel me? I yeah, mean, that's my baby. But she started, yeah, man, she started fucking with that pediment and shit. She got thick. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw it with my own eyes and shit. Really? That shit really worked. Yeah. Yeah. So you got that. You got eating food. You know, you can always eat food and go the natural way. Mm-hmm. Do some squats. Go to the gym. Lift some weights. You know. You gotta eat the right food. You gotta eat the yeah. right food that goes to your ass. Yeah. You can't get the food that go to your gut. You yeah. Can't, you can't have the ass the same size as the gut. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah, man. You look like a, uh, like a. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna wrap it up, man. Yeah, man. Trying to get me canceled. I know you try to get yourself. You try to get the whole Charles Street check canceled. The Wolf of Charles Street, man. Thanks to my Martin director coming through, man. Yes, definitely. Anytime. Key, you feel me? Yo, listen, man. I want all my subscribers. You feel me? Like when she drop her her podcast, about to drop ASAP. So when 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 she drop hers, you feel me? I need all my subscribers go over there and support her. You feel me? And we all gonna build together, man. Period. Yeah, man. Yes. Listen, we got we we gonna have a lot of events and stuff coming up. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot of prizes and stuff. Like I said, we we locking in our sponsors and stuff now. So we're gonna have that bag and that budget to yeah, I mean, just include everybody. Yeah, so dear Paul, yeah, if y'all trying to follow through the podcast with the sponsorship. Nah, dear Paul, <laughs> cut, them, cut that check. Matter of fact, that's Nestle. Yeah, y'all ain't slick. Yeah. That's Nestle. We cut, cut that check, check, Nestle. We t- we do the water, we do the chocolate, we do the uh the 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 the, the Nesquik. We know Nestle, yeah. They got mad products. They got yeah, mad food they products. They got mad shit. Nestle run a lot of shit. You know they even have like baby food overseas and stuff. Yeah, Nestle. Listen, Nestle. Y'all listen, y'all know y'all got y'all gotta do good by the by the community, man. Come on now, you feel me? So I'll add me. We're gonna put something together. So we Definitely. Gonna, we're going to wrap it up, man. That's, that, that's it for us. All right, we'll see y'all next time. You know I live it like the lotto. You said you're going to.